Have you ever found that Common Core math is not so common? Or as a parent, maybe your child comes home with homework that you just don't get. For example, you were expecting to see something like this, or perhaps even this. But then you're presented with this, or to top it off, even this. You may be wondering, what is this? Well, there's no need to fret. I'm here to help you make sense of it all. And trust me, it's not as hard as you think. As you may have already guessed, in today's video, I will be showing you how to use an addition strategy called partial sums. Let's jump right into it. Addition using the partial sum strategy can be done in different ways. Here is an example of two of them. Both require three simple steps in order to find the sum. To the left, the numbers are written out horizontally and grouped by place, whereas the example on the right, partial sums are written vertically and then combined. I will model how to use both. Before we get into what I like to call the horizontal partial sum strategy, let's go over a few key vocabulary words that your children will need to be familiar with. Decompose simply means to break apart the numbers by place. Expanded form, that's to write the numbers according to the value of each digit, as you can see on the left. And partial, in simple terms, means a part of. It's important that your students are familiar with these vocabulary words as they will be exposed to them throughout the use of this strategy. Let's see how it works by using this example. First, we must decompose each number by writing it in expanded form. Since we have a six in the tens place, that's 60 plus two ones. We also have a one in the tens place and six ones. Step two, we're ready to add the place value groups. Six ones plus two ones is eight ones. And then we have six tens plus one ten is seven tens, which is 70. Step three, we're going to go ahead and add up the partial sums. 70 plus eight is 78. So we know the sum of 62 plus 16 is 78. In this example, we're going to add a three digit number using the partial sum strategy. We're going to start by decomposing each number. 372, we have a three in the hundreds, seven tens, and two ones. 224, we have two hundreds, two tens, and four ones. Moving on to step two, we're ready to add each place value group. Starting with the ones, four plus two, six, seven tens plus two tens is 90. And three hundreds plus two hundreds is five hundred. Step three, we're going to go ahead and add up our partial sum, leaving us with five hundred ninety six. In this next example, we're going to continue using the partial sum strategy. However, we're going to set it up a bit differently, going vertically instead of horizontally. Following three simple steps, we're going to begin with adding the ones. Seven ones plus five ones gives us twelve ones. And in step two, we're going to add the tens place. It's important to remind students, although we have a three and a four, they represent three tens and four tens, adding 30 plus 40, leaving us with 70, or in other words, seven ten. Our last step, we're going to add 70 plus 12, leaving us with a sum of 82. Let's try it again, this time using a three digit number, starting with the ones place, we're going to add four ones plus two ones, giving us six ones. Moving on to the tens place, we have two tens, which is 20, and seven tens, 70, giving us a sum of 90. Hundreds place, we're going to add two hundreds plus three hundreds, giving us a total of 500. Now we're ready to combine our partial sums, leaving us with a total of 596. So hopefully you didn't find that to be too challenging. So next time your child comes home with something that looks more like this, just keep in mind that according to Common Core, the partial sum strategy is the strategy that students will be exposed to in grades one through three. They're not actually introduced to the traditional algorithm of addition until fourth grade. So hopefully that clears things up a bit. However, if you still need a little reminder of how this strategy works, 
and would like a free copy of these examples, feel free to reach out to me by clicking the link below in the description box. Thank you for watching. To continue to support my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.